This is video number eight, and we're gonna map things out via the mind map. Now, here comes the exciting part. So we pretty much went through a lot of information. We gathered a lot of data. And now in this video, we're gonna map out your whole funnel. Now, it's great to visually map things out via a flowchart system or a mind mapping software, simply because when it comes time to implement everything without a mind map, or a flow chart, it's guaranteed that you're gonna get lost along the way. So in our experience, having successfully implemented hundreds of funnels, we can vet that a mind map helps to understand where you are in the process. Because a lot of times when the going gets tough, you're gonna to quit unless you know exactly where you are in the step-by-step -step planning process. Now, bear in mind that this is not going to be the final funnel system. You can always go back and forth and change it however you wish. That's why we don't really recommend a pen and paper. We recommend that you utilize a tool on your computer that allows you to drag and drop the blocks around. And that way you can move things around because if you're dealing with pen and paper, it's going to get really messy. You're going to have to redo it, redo it, redo it. And yeah, it's cheaper. It's just going to be very chaotic and we want the easiest way for you. So with that said, let's jump on in. Let's go to the mind mapping software and let's build out the survey funnel. Okay, so like I said, I am using a site called lucidchart.com. That's L-U-C-I-D chart.com. This site is great and I highly recommend it if you can. It's not too expensive. There's a very small monthly fee, but I think it's about two to three, four dollars max per month. And it's really worthwhile at the end of the day. So let's walk through kind of what we talked about earlier in the previous videos. But basically, first off, we need to gather data, right? So we'll just use this block as the gather data block. So we need to gather information about the prospects different needs. So this could be a separate survey. Well, we'll do this. We'll do gather information and this is how we're going to do it. We can either take a survey or secondary, we can also sit down with a prospect and talk with them and get a better understanding of where they're coming from. So these are two different options. Option one, take a survey and option two, sit down with a prospect. Once we've talked to several prospects and you've gathered any, enough data for your survey and you're ready to go and you've compiled kind of a list of different needs like what we talked about earlier, then we can move on to the actual funnel. So by this point, we should have enough data. So this could be three to five different prospect buyers. So I think for simplicity's sake, let's just do three. And we'll call these pathways or paths. So there are three different paths. So here is where we start the funnel. So we'll call this the survey funnel. And there are going to be three different paths. So I'll put this one here. So one two and three. So do path one, path two, and path three. And let's actually name these. So let's go back to the few videos that we discussed about security. And remember we discussed there was the father, there was the single woman. and the elderly couple.
So we're going to move this down here. This is the survey funnel. And there we go. So one, two, and three. Now this is going to be the actual survey. The survey. So when people come here, this is the survey. They fill it out. And based upon these choices that they, the answers that they give, they are either sent to path one, path two, or path three. Now from this, I'm going to delete this here just to clean it up. Let's say they go to path one. So perhaps what we find out during the process of gathering data is that the father barely has any time. So we create a video sales letter and we minimize it down to 15 minutes or even 10 minutes. And perhaps we find the same thing for the single woman or the married woman who's really busy. But then we find during our research that we found that the elderly couple, they have more time on their hands, but at the same time, they take more convincing and they're maybe reluctant or skeptical to technology. So maybe they require, in this case, a 30 minute video sales letter to really convince them. So then we can make the offer or maybe we make the offer here. But then we found out the fathers, maybe they, they do buy, but we're going to add them to an email autoresponder so that we give them valuable tips, maybe for seven days. So day one through seven. And maybe we find the very similar for the women. But we find for the elderly couple, we find that they require more selling, more pre-selling. So the email autoresponder ends up being 14 days. So you can imagine here, if you sent everyone here and then sent everyone to one pathway, essentially, then your conversions would drop, right? But if you send them here and you send them here and they send them here, and they fit this very, very well, then guess what? You are going to convert them at a faster and higher rate. So at this point in time, realistically, the survey, in order to implement it, we need to use a wufu.com form. And these are going to be conditional rules. So write that here, we'll write that here, and we'll write that here. So there will be conditional rules here, here, and here. I'm going to move this a little bit over here, just so it's a little bit easier. And I don't know if you noticed this, but as I'm moving it, it locks in a place. And I like that about Lucidchart is it makes it really easy and organized and we can name this click OK now you don't necessarily need a video sales letter all the time sometimes you might do enough research that you realize they don't need a video sales letter and you might think okay the elderly couple they they just want really good information first they don't really want the video sales letter and they like text or something. So that way you can customize it based on that. Now, like I said, in terms of impl implementation, wufu.com has conditional rules. And based on the questions that they answer, you can either ask them another question that is only revealed if that they show that they are the father or the single woman or married women or elderly couple. So that's essentially it. And what we can do here is the email autoresponder series. Obviously, the emails might go back to the video sales letter, like so. So let's break this down real quick. So the surveys here, they fill it out. The conditional rules are sent here. And based on the answers that they give, they either 
get answered more questions or they get sent to a video sales letter. But then after that, they get added to an email list. And perhaps over here, they have to fill in their email. And if they get over here, they get automatically added to the email autoresponder series over here. And then they receive an email from day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, and day seven. So since there's are seven days and the email autoresponder series will then of course sell and redirect them back to the video sales letter. So hopefully that makes sense. That's actually very, very simplified and not very complex. But as you're going along and you're implementing things, that way you know, okay, I'm at the conditional rules or I'm working on the video sales letter. I'm almost done. All I need to do is get here. So in certain respects, it's a motivational factor as well to help motivate you to complete the actual funnel.